guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back into some more Create Astral. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, starting off today, I have plans to go to space, to go to the moon. Technically, we can go into the portal right now. Um, I actually think that's a good idea uh, for us to just sort of jump into the portal and see where it where it takes us. Because um, I have no idea how this works. Um, all I can do is hope for the best. I have my oxygen. We don't have our gear enchanted. I also don't know if this gear can be enchanted or anything like that. So my best guess is to just YOLO it and see what this place has to offer. Hopefully we're not underground or anything like that. It should put us in space. One small step. Aha. And here we are. We are now in space. Oh, and this is cool looking. So, whoa, we jump really high. This is all moon sand. This is the stuff that we were finding uh, that we can actually turn into glowstone and stuff like that. Um, I need to know where my portal's at. Probably a good idea to turn the minimap on and to be sure to set. Looks like there's some magma cream over here, but definitely on the map, I want to mark this, create waypoint, and name it portal. Perfect. So this is the moon. This is the moon. So we have some basalt. It looks like ice as well. Um, magma cream, magma slimes, which we could probably kill for for the uh, the actual magma cream itself. A um, bunch of moon sand. And then this thing right here is really sparking my interest. I just want to be very careful because I don't want to die. Um, like I'm not, I'm not protected, I think enough to really withstand death here. Um, Ooh, right away blaze. We get some iron plates. Um, and then it looks like just a bunch of cobweb. There's some stuff down there. Okay. That guy looks pretty scary. It looks like a wither skeleton in a spacesuit. Okay. Okay. Should I be weary of these things? I think I should, but I'm just going to peek my head in here and just try to grab as much loot as I possibly can without dying. <laughs> it seems like a good idea. Uh, can I get by, by the way, with just jumping and using this to pillar up? Probably could. Probably could. Let's see. We can jump up. By the way, this is some cool material. This is that plating. Um, these guys can probably spawn at any moment and just completely wreck my day. There's some dash, which is nice. Also notice that uh, I am slowly but surely losing oxygen. That is a, a big part as well. That looks like a little bit of uh, a chest down there. There's also though the potential for something to come after me. Ah, uh, no, that's some dash. We have some sky stone. Interesting on the sky stone front. She was not expecting to find that. Oh, there's a there's a wither skeleton right there. Oh, I better get back. I don't know if they have any sort of weapons or anything. So I am incredibly scared. Also, these guys are rotating in a weird way. <laughs> that is super creep. But so far, I mean, we found some gearboxes. That's kind of nice. Like looting in this thing is going to be really awesome if it gives us a bunch of gearboxes and things that we've had to craft. That is going to be super handy. I wonder if we can sleep on this planet as well. Because I'm not familiar with if that if that's possible or not. Oh, wow. Like, I love that I can just, like, pop in here, peek, and without any sort of help, just loot some stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of peeking in there. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot else down there. There is a way in here. Maybe I can quickly grab that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy. Now, uh, so the, the skeletons. Ooh, I hear, okay, there's an Enderman. There's red stuff over there off in the distance. And some sort of structure. Um, let's see. Can we sleep? I'm kind of scared to, like, try and use the bed. I feel like if I do this, I'm probably going to, like, just blow up. I don't know if that's the case. There's Moonstone. It is going to get very dark very quick in this dimension. 
It almost feels like the time is maybe matched to the overworlds. Very interesting. I'm saying interesting an awful lot. Okay, good. I can sleep on the moon, it looks like. But it does not change the time of day. But I almost bet going back through the portal would potentially fix that. Yeah, as you can see, it's still dark here. But if I sleep, I bet that uh, sleeping in the overworld will affect the time of day that it is on the moon. Uh, thus helping us a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it does reflect. That is horrifying. What are you? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I do not want to deal with that. Look how much health that thing has. Okay, we've got to definitely, definitely get our ranged weapons up. I feel like ranged weapons are going to be a must. Also, I've got to lead this guy away or I'm going to take so much damage. It is not even funny. There's an Endermite. <laughs> it's so funny how high they go. You can basically juggle them. I wonder if we can juggle this guy. We can definitely knock him back. We like playing baseball with this thing. The shovel is my favorite tool, by the way, so far. As far as a weapon goes. Almost feel like we should deck this shovel out to deal as much damage as possible. This is so creepy. Like, we take a lot of damage still, which is surprising. Even with this gear, I don't know how we're going to go about protecting ourselves from damage here. I know having bread is probably a good idea. Something that gives us more saturation. Oh yeah, I'm going to die if I if I'm not careful. And I don't know if there's a good way. I don't know if there's a good way to uh Oh, there we go. We got him. I don't know if there's a good way to get your stuff back if you do die. Like, I feel like you're probably going to die pretty quick. Ooh, okay. So now that we kind of have an understanding of what it's like, I think maybe prepping a little bit more might be a good idea. Such as like maybe trying to enchant our gear that we're wearing. By the way, we get some pretty epic rewards. Look at that. Some nice tanks and stuff like that to kind of help us from completing all of the stuff that we completed. We got Nautilus shells. All of that good stuff. I feel like there's still vanilla stuff we're missing out on. But this right here is the whole section uh remnants of a lost civilization and there's a lot to this that i'm just barely seem to have touched the surface um but even better smelting now uh shows up here and so we have a foundry controller talks about a foundry okay that's understandable looks like molten obsidian um and that will get us that i don't think the foundry though is the same as the uh, other stuff. This is where are my alloys? That'll be nice if we can... If things just become a little easier on us as far as making things, I think that'll be fun. Uh, nether grout. Probably what all this stuff is going to be made from. Uh, it talks about magma cream. Uh, you make nether grout out of it too. Oh, blaze burners. Those are going to be important. Uh, blaze burners actually are relatively easy to craft but require moonstone. Uh, which we should find on the moon. Uh, gathering souls. So we should find soul soil. Hopefully here as well. Um, and then welcome to the moon. Okay, let's go ahead and read this. Welcome to chapter three. Things will start feeling truly challenging. Um, recipe change will be no longer as complicated and will no longer be sufficient to semi-automate or even fully automate basic resources. You will need more and more and need to automate crafting items such as casings, electron tubes, cable cogwheels, and circuits. However, this moon provides many invaluable resources for accomplishing these. Um, so yeah, it looks like um, we're going to be able to get better things, hopefully. Um, that is going to be the goal. Kind of excited. Okay, let's go ahead and complete that. We've already gotten a couple of the things that it shows. So nuclear, we can apparently find a nuclear site. That's kind of cool. Desh is going to be important. Um, that's going to get us an oxygen distributor, which we can use to then build sort of a space station, which would be handy. 
Ores on the moon. So it looks like we can get cheese, iron, uh, moon ice shards, deep certus quartz, moon silver, and moon cobble or cobalt ore. Ooh, getting some cobalt would be fantastic. There's some chocolate cake for completing that. Um, okay. And then a curious meteorite. So find the structure meteor. That's going to be important, apparently. Um, a path of brass. Yes. Ah, oh, find a lunar pipeline. Yes. Uh, so both sides of the tree will uh, converge at the end, making them both mandatory. Uh, the path of brass will lead you to the ultimate ends of both Tinker's Construct mod and the Create mod. You'll have every tool you need to fully manage. Okay, uh, so... But to make brass, it did feel like... Okay, so we've already technically made steam engines. Uh, but... Because I'm pretty sure this is not... Yeah, this is just gold anesite. This is what I, I use to create those. Um, but getting blaze burners. So apparently there's some way to get blaze. Um, so pipeline spawns with dangerous wither skeletons and guaranteed blaze spawners with an empty blaze burner. You'll be able to right click blazes and scoop them up. Ooh, that is going to be handy. Um, okay. And we also have the haunting. So as soon as we find like soul soil, uh, we'll be fine. We need to come up with a way, a, a better plan for just kind of saving ourselves here, right? Um, man, there is just a lot that we're about to dive into now that we're on the moon. Uh, we are about to go head first into, into the unknown, honestly. Like, I'm talking there's a lot of new things to come. Okay. Ooh, we also found silver plates in there as well. That's uh, for the Tech Reborn stuff. So we have a cake. I'm going to pop that real quick. Uh, I think definitely getting some some good food is going to be the best, our best bet. There's a lot of foods that we can craft. Um, right now, wheat and just making bread is a really good option. Um, of course, we need a lot more wheat than that, and I think getting that automated would be handy. Uh, but for right now... It seems like definitely protecting ourselves. So let's try and get ourselves a uh, enchanting table. We can probably put that up top here. Now, one thing that should definitely help us is going to be a shield. And I'm going to make myself a royal shield here. And I'm hoping this is going to be good. Yeah, we can block. This will help us out a lot, especially for blazes. Oh my goodness. Like fi figuring out all the weaponry that we're going to need. That's the big, going to be a big thing. Now to set up this enchanting table, I'm going to place it right here. And then off to the side is going to be the bookshelves. Just like so. Um, now the corners I can leave, right? We need 15. And I, I was going to make this look like they're hanging. But I think this will be fine right here. There's that. And then this one. Um, and now up top. I do need to place a couple, a couple others. Um, as you can see, I, I have this all planned out, but I am going to need to place a few blocks. Um, trying to make it look kind of nice up here. So hopefully this will all function. Kind of what I'm hoping for. Why can I not jump up here? There we go. Um, okay, so one here, here, and one here should be fine. This should be a max... Enchanting setup. Um, now, with our regular gear, that's the thing. Can we enchant? Oh, thank goodness we can. Now, I don't have a lot of stuff here. Uh, like, I don't have a lot of levels to enchant. This is only 24, by the way. This should be level 30. Uh, I do have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I have to break this. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not working? Oh, yeah, because there's stuff in the middle. Okay, so this should now be 30. Okay, so as you can see, we got fire protection there. Um, unbreaking. I would love just like full proc if I can potentially get it on all of my gear. I know that's like, of course, not a thing that's probably going to happen, but it looks like we can roll protection on like our pants here. Um, getting unbreaking would be fantastic. We can't do trades with villagers, unfortunately. That'd probably be the way to go. Um, at the moment, we're kind of missing the ability to do villager trades. Looks like unbreaking. 
Ah, uh, man. I mean, we can always unenchant. The problem is, is I don't have a lot of XP. And let's see what this puts on here. Protection, Respiration, and Aqua Affinity. Oh my gosh, that is like a god tier roll right there. Don't want thorns. I don't want fire protection. I kind of, because I think we can probably do potions. Let's go ahead and enchant Unbreaking on this. Oh, we just got protection. Nice. Uh, a, a little fire protection might be helpful. There's a protection four. Oh my. And we got blast protection. That is on the boots or the pants. Um, and we can go down here and we can unenchant that. Hopefully get a little bit of our levels back. Because I don't want blast protection. That's kind of a random thing to have on here. Fire protection would be kind of nice because we're going to be going after blazes. Or regular pr protection. Okay, so we are pretty procced up, actually. That's really nice. Unbreaking, a little bit of protection. We also have respiration on here and aqua affinity. The only thing we're missing is like fall damage prevention, but this should help us a whole bunch. Also, can we maybe enchant our shield? Um, normally shields have to be enchanted outside, so yeah, no, never mind. Um, well, that's quite handy. And uh, we're now glistening. I think at this point, I'm a little bit more prepared <laughs> for what's uh, what's to come here. Okay, so um, these guys that are off in the distance, I should leave them alone. It does seem like there's a couple of structures over here. There's a couple of structures here. Maybe we should go this way. I know the pipeline's here. Actually, we need to go over to the pipeline. Hopefully I can avoid these guys. I need to head over to the pipeline and mine some stuff. Also need to mine up this dash. I did bring a ranged weapon this time. <laughs> so hopefully we're good there. Gonna need tons of this probably. Also, we can use dash as a, a ingredient on our tool apparently. And that might be helpful. We need to grab one of these items that are up here. Man, what a journey this is going to be through all of this. Grab one of these. There we go, path to brass. Now that we have that completed, Continue our way. What are you? That's that wither skeleton, isn't it? That is a wither skeleton. Um, I don't know how fast they are. If they're, if they're gonna be this pace, I might be able to handle this guy. Okay. Oh boy. And, okay, two shots. Oh, it dropped a wither rose? Oh my gosh, yeah, the, the pistol is definitely the way to go. Definitely need a ranged weapon here. Okay, it looks like some of this material scoria, but there we go, more of the dash. Take as much of that as I can. Wonder what's inside these buildings, though. Like, hopefully nothing super dangerous. It does look like we have some Icor growing from Hephaestus right there, growing from the Tinkers. That's super useful. Uh, basic storage units from Tech Reborn. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with how these work, but it looks like the same things that we've been using. These are Icor blocks. And there is some lava right here. Probably block that up. I probably want to grab the Icor, don't I? This is probably pretty important, I would assume. So yes, I am going to take as much of it as I can. I also want to leave these exposed, if at all possible. These are slime. Oh yeah, this is just like raw icor. Is there anything else in here? Ooh. Oh, there's uh, there's cabling. So if I don't want to make the make it, there's a bunch of it right here. It looks like. Also, this is a alarm. Okay, what other stuff I'm missing? Cracked flat magma blocks. Thankfully, they don't hurt us. There's a table. More cabling. Uh, reinforced white concrete. I'm just like looking for anything that I could possibly use. Okay, so I think we grabbed just about everything out of here. So this is this building. Not quite sure, 100%. Like I'm not, I'm not sure what all this building has to offer. This one looks like it has redstone blocks up top. Those are blocks of redstone. Ooh, fancy, fancy. And this looks like it was a drill. <gasps> Ooh, there's shimmer and more of the rocks down there. So definitely got some more shimmer in case we run into that. I like the I like the redstone blocks. 
though. By the way, placing a block underneath is kind of helpful when you get gravity like this. I definitely want to take these. These are resources. <laughs> these are valuable. Valuable resources. Also, getting used to this gravity is, yeah, going to, yeah, going to be a thing. Did that just break? No, it just goes flying everywhere. Yeah, I don't think we take as much fall damage either. Oh, there's something over here as well. There's so much stuff. Now, this is, this is dash plating. Um, and oh, and there's more rails. Okay, so it's just free rails, I guess. Going through here, unless I'm seeing something. It would be very easy to uh, fall into something dangerous down here. I'm wondering, on the mini-map would be the best way. Oh, there's stuff over here. So I need to find... I, I don't know if it's going to be readily available. It looks like right over here there's also a meteor. We need to find soul sand and soul soil. Uh, as those definitely will get us further through our progression here. There's, a, there's blue ice. Uh, unfortunately, we can't pick it up unless we have some sort of silk touch. But... Yes, we, we definitely need to move forward. Hopefully it's just not all scoria here. We should be able to find soul soil. I wonder if on my way I can go ahead and maybe try. Try my, my hand through here. It looks like they have a sword. Maybe I can grab a little bit of loot while I'm here. Definitely some blaze. I don't see any spawners. But because it's dark in here, I think that's really what... Uh, Sets things off. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Thankfully, that didn't hurt as much. But I was able to, to grab that. It, that was close. That was close. Pint counter. I'm just grabbing as much as I can here. Oh, boy. Uh, ooh. Is this silver? There is some silver. I'm glad two shots with this is nice. This has power three on it, so maybe that's why it's making it a little, a little easier on me. I feel like I should probably grab that silver while I'm here. Now, this guy just spawned next to me. Oh my gosh, it's selling lunar pads for emeralds. <gasps> this is a lunar wandering trader. And soul campfires, oxygen tanks, a space helmet? Dude, you are fantastic. I don't have any emeralds on me, but next time I come here, I'm bringing emeralds just for you. Oh my gosh. Dude, the landing pads and everything will be so helpful for later on. I did go ahead and reload my oxygen and sleep for the night to make things a little bit better as we head to this meteor. I think this is the one that it uh, it mentions in the quest. I think that's where we're heading. It is right over here. We have to get around this. I think the best thing is to not really go through this mess. But yeah, there's also structures along the way. There's plenty more. Look at that, more, uh, more of the storage is there. More redstone. This building is, uh, I'd say it's the same. I was gonna say maybe it's less intact. Definitely looks the same. Okay, I'm getting closer. You'll probably be mining the dash along the way. Is this iron? That's moon iron. We're getting there. And here it is. Aha. And I believe that is the soul soil. Yep, yep, yep. So definitely grab a bit of this as much as I can for right now. This is going to be very useful. We can actually turn regular sand. Now that we have this, we should be able to turn regular sand into soul sand and turn soul sand into flint. Or sorry, uh, quartz, not flint. There's a whole bunch of coal. We have infinite coal. Um, but what is in this? What is inside this meteor down here? This is sky stone. Is there going to be resources in here? Blocks of coal. There is a chest. Ah, and it has desh and all that good stuff. Sky stone. I might as well grab that because I don't know what that's going to be used for. Um, Everything else looks fine. I, I got what I really needed, honestly. Oh, magma blocks. We should probably grab those as well. There's a couple of magma blocks. Very handy. More sky stone. I mean, these are our resources, right? This is the resources that we have available to us outside of uh, having no nether, right? So this is our nether, uh, the moon, technically. 
Now, uh, there's a couple of structures that are over here as well that I want to go go venture, venture to and see outside of uh, gathering these resources. Boy, off in the distance looks like one of the nuclear power plants. This is an old abandoned train station, a train depot. Okay, one that was on the moon. I wonder what the story is behind all this. Hmm. Very cool looking. I want to break in here. And, of course, grab the cogs. Also, there's some signage display boards that were in here. Those are pretty neat. Those are useful for the trains. I mean, I should grab the train tracks, too, while I'm here. I might as well. Uh, I should also grab as many train tracks as I can from the, uh, the main dimension, the overworld. Whoa! All the blocks dropping. Okay, let's go see what this is all about as well. So this is definitely the nuclear part of things. Um, now there's chests, I'm noticing, above the lava. Uh, but I'm also noticing magma blocks. And it's not super easy to build in this. We don't have any like means of really moving around too well. I wonder if this is enough lava to make an infinite amount of lava. That would be pretty darn cool if it was. Just don't know how you transfer things back and forth. Um, okay. So silver plate, sky stone. So we're getting a lot of the same resources. And those guys are getting awfully close. Too close for comfort for me. As I move around here, I wonder... Is there an easy way? Up top also looked kind of ridiculous on this thing. I don't know what's up there, but it looked pretty darn cool. And yeah. Oh my. There is a chest all the way up there. I don't know. And oh, this is full of blackstone as well. I wonder if I could get up there. Probably not without like some sort of other means. Like, I don't have enough building blocks on me, I think, to really handle this. I sort of wonder how deep the uh, the lava goes. Also, that chest in the middle looks very tempting. I don't know if I'm kind of going too far. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But I really want to get to that. Am I going to have enough material to get there? That's the question. Just barely enough. Uh, what's underneath here, though? A lodestone. Ooh. There we go. Can I break the lodestone? I don't know if, like, that's something I can go ahead and do. Oh, I can. So now we have a lodestone. <laughs> that was free. Those normally cost netherite to get. We're also getting tons of cogs and stuff, but my inventory is super full. And it's probably going to be getting dark soon on this planet. Uh, and, or not planet, the moon. And uh, getting dark on the moon sounds like a dangerous time. We should probably head back. Now, I think that was a pretty darn cool adventure. And of course, there's more adventure to come. But that's going to have to be the wrap up for today's episode. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, be sure to click that subscribe button and uh, give this video a huge thumbs up. And leave a comment down below what you enjoyed the most and what you're looking forward to. Um, of course, guys, it's also time to thank the supporter of today's video. Huge thanks is going to go to the better cat over on Discord. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over there. And uh, of course, guys, if you're interested in becoming a Discord premium member or uh, you can or becoming a YouTube member. YouTube members are right next to uh, the subscribe button. It's the little join button if you're interested in that. Everything's linked through the Discord. Also, Discord does have a way of uh, subscribing to the channel uh, in a more financial way, if uh, that's something you're interested in. Uh, you, of course, do get tons of perks, and we do have an Ad Astral server, uh, a Create Ad Astral server up and running for you guys um, if you're interested in joining uh, and if you're a supporter. So, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you very, very much for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.